What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Hey, you know something? This video here is for people who build computers. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who know anybody who's building computers. And it's specifically dealing with this video card that I'm using which is a Radon RX 580 series. Now, it's not a gr the big, it's not even a, it's m mediocre at best. You know what I'm saying? And because they got some high end, high, 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 high end video cards that'll cost you 20 grand. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't talking about all of that. We talking about what us normal people deal with, people who are budgeting, people who don't have that kind of money with a card that can at least do a little something, something. Now, I originally got it because I was thinking about, you know, rendering power and stuff like that. But then I started, you know, using it for gaming to test it because that's how you test to me. You want to test your video card and your old CPU? Stick one of the video games in there and see what it put the settings up high and put the settings up high on your um on your video card settings now i'm using afterburner for this radon because radon software sucks y'all i'm sorry i'm just gonna put it bluntly it sucks b it's glitchy it don't hold your settings it 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 just it just, just glitches out all the time errors all the time you know what i'm saying but but afterburner I'm able to keep it like it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, the problem that people were having that I've seen was, and that I've had also, was the 580 series gets hot. Extremely hot to where I couldn't run the power limit like this on certain games because it'd get really hot. And I mean hot to where it starts idling because that's what it'll do. Idling means that it'll bring down the megahertz to bring down the temperature, basically. I'm putting it in layman's terms. Now, I am not a computer expert, but ever since the mid-90s when my father sent me a computer and I started doing music with it and the first program that I used was Cubase and I still use it today. And I'm gonna say something about that too. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had to upgrade it and I looked at it and seen what it was. I was like, oh, this is it. Man, this is, this is easy. So then, me having experience with um, MS DOS because when I started, I started messing with computers like early '80s. You know what I'm saying? They had them in, in like I say around '80. I say mid '80s, around '85, something like that. Um, they had computers in our school, and they were teaching us how to work them. We had to use disk. Big, big floppy disk. There was no such thing of a gig then. You were happy to have a megabyte. You know what I'm saying? It's more like kilobytes. But anyway, um, it was a lot of programming involved. So that was in me. And then I heard about Windows. I never knew what it was until I got that computer. And then I seen how easy it was. I'm like, oh, this is a breeze. You mean I ain't got to make a program to do this? You know what I'm saying? So the program's already made. So I'm like, oh, click, 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 click. Ah, so... From there on, I just got into it and I learned everything I learned mostly through just messing with messing with the computer and seeing what, what this stuff does. Because I knew, I, like I said, you can go into MS-DOS and Windows and I used to punch in commands and, you know what I'm saying, find out what's in there and see the calculating power. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's like that. So, you know, I took a liking to it. So anyway, back to the RX 580. I started having heating problems like that. And then there was points to where I couldn't even turn the power limit up because it had just, it had shut down on me. So, um, you know, I, I put more fans inside the computer. And as you see, I have a Corsair um, AIO. AIO stands for all in one. You know, it's a, a CPU cooler. The CPU is the brain, you know, it does the computations. In your computer and with this i99 9900k uh 
that sucker gets hot. And I've tried all kinds of things. And that Corsair is the only thing that works. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, look. Hey, I'm running that 5 gig strong. As a matter of fact, I can show you right now. What, what, what do that say right there? Five gigs. <laughs> and look. That's temperature. Well, this is the temperature that it just fluctuates like that. But it normally sits around 39. Now. Back to the RX. So. Just the other day, I decided that I wanted to clean out my CPU because I know the dust was in it, man. Yeah, look, that's the only thing when you got like seven fans like I do, because three go on the AIO, call, the AIO um, cooler by itself. So, you know what I'm saying? And I said, I, I, I pulled the video card out and I seen that dust all on the fans. I said, I got to get on the other side of this thing. And I'm like, bro, you ain't never open one of these things up. So immediately, I was like, Ugh. but I looked at a thousand tutorials. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, bro, you, man, you just go ahead, man. You got the tools, all of that. Just go ahead. So when I open it up, and I start to, and there's some weird screws in it, y'all. So you got to remember where you place these screws at. What I do is I normally place the video card in a certain area, and each screw I take out, I put it in that area where I got it from metal whatever and i line it up like that you know what i'm saying so when you take it when i took it apart and i looked at the thermal paste they had on there yo it was a mountain of it on it i say i mean you could literally take your finger and go like this i was like i use thermal paste a bajillion times and I ain't never seen nobody even remotely close to even telling you to even put thermal paste on any CPU like that. And then, yes, video cards have a CPU, too. You know what I'm saying? So, me, let me tell you something. Taking that stuff off took an extremely long time. It was that thick and hard. So, I scraped all of that off and... I went with this. That's what I've been using on all my CP on, on whatever I had. And I'm using that for the, the 9900K right now. And you see my temperatures. And I look, I've done tests with this thing. I'm not going to do one now. But I've done tests with this thing. And I've used programs. And, uh, I know y'all seeing my music programs right now. But, you know. Uh, let me give you an example of what I use to test this stuff. I use several as soon as I find it. Alright. As you see, I have all kinds of stuff here. Sinbench, um, C, you know, CPU-Z, you know what I'm saying, um, um, Fearmark, I got, you know, I use several, so, you know what I'm saying? I've done my testing. I, I ain't no slouch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't up here slouching and just feeding y'all soup. Like, where you at? You know what I'm saying? Instead, and, and not giving y'all no steak with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and some garlic bread. You know, you dip it in that soup. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you that. So when you see these temperatures, you're looking at last year building and now. You know what I'm saying? So once I took that stuff off and I put that cryo knot on there, this sucker won't even touch ADCs, no matter what I do to it. No matter, that's why the power limit is up. You know what I'm saying? And look, let me tell you. Now, I don't do all the tweaking like everybody else do because I'm not trying to get the most out of it in, in, in gaming and stuff like that because I deleted a lot of them games. I tell you that right now. After I, didn't got, after I knew that I was straight, I deleted a lot of them because a lot of these games take up like 100 gigs. I ain't got time for that. I need that for, for, for the videos and the music. They take up enough when you start doing... 4k and 2k and stuff like that and then you throwing music files in there and then you combining all this stuff and you putting 
live footage, video game, what? Er, get off my computer. You know what I'm saying? So, what y'all need to do is get open that thing up. Don't be scared. Yeah, it's going to void your warranty, but I'd rather void my warranty than the damn thing burning up and them sending me another one and that one burning up and then them sending me another one and that one burning up. No, I'm not going through all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm cutting, I'm nipping it at the butt. Open that thing up. Take that lump of thermal paste off of there. Get you some cryo knot. Read the instructions. And look, wear some gloves. And if you don't wear gloves, do like I do. Get you some Puma soap. The ones that the mechanics use. Because that's the only thing that's going to get that cryo knot off your fingers. OMB signing out. Peace.